So, um, <clears throat> so I've always had an interest in electronics. I was a gaming nerd when I was a kid. You know what I mean? So I, you know, my, my electronics bar, stuff like that. Just looked at it, didn't even know how to put it back together. But it was just interesting to me. It was almost like a, you know, you think of a circuit board. Think of a, think of a how, I don't know, let's just say how a, your gaming console, say you got a PS5. If, if you were, if you were to even attempt to, uh, to recreate that from scratch, right? No one would even know where to start. But how do we take metal, and plastic components and combine them in a way and push electricity through it to where it illuminates a screen and displays this stuff. How do you create that? How do you create that? You know what I mean? It's easy to understand creating a wheel. It makes sense. You have some surface, cut it in a circle, boom, it's a wheel. But a PS5 or a computer or a cell phone, how do you do that? Yeah, from, from scratch. Like, how do what, what the. And, and that was interesting to me is because, you know, and it's a whole, almost a whole other dimension of thinking when it comes to like programming and uh, how computers work. And um, that, again, you know, so that kind of like led me into me wanting to pursue a computer engineering degree. And, uh, and uh, when I actually specialized in robotics, I did a semi autonomous robot as my senior design project. And uh, basically, it was just this is back in 2011. So, you, so you got a degree in doing this shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh so I let the people know. So y'all, y'all not taking y'all phones in a fucking dumbass. You know what I'm